This is the Sanat Kumara. I am an advanced Deva being from Venus who serves Stonecrete, Earth's soul, as the chief operating officer of the planet and all life who calls Earth home or is here to help with the expansion of consciousness due to the shift. The Sanat Kumara is the office I hold. I speak to you through my walk in Martina Violetta Jung. Today I want to inform you about Earth's connection to the Creator and the Cosmos, the cosmic communication system, and why it has such a major impact on all that is going on during the shift. And as the cosmic communication system is vital for your understanding of reality as it is today, we approach this subject in two steps, that is to say, in two podcast episodes. Imagine your own lands and waters as far and wide as your eyes can see. One day you think it would be nice to have another house that gives you a different view on all there is. You consider a magnificent spot and tell everyone who could potentially add beauty and functionality to it to come and help bring skills and materials. Would you even for one minute ponder to build such a beautiful house without electricity and water connection, without a road, without phone and internet connections? Of course not. Well, houses in the Creator's universe are for example planets. And without direct connections to his messages, without his up-to-date information on the plan, and without the possibility of his messengers and beings from other planets visiting on a daily basis, this can't be a well-functioning and beautiful house. Earth has been a beautiful and well-functioning house according to the Creator's plan and was well on its way of planned development until the fall of Atlantis. Until representatives of the human kingdom on Earth decided to disconnect from the cosmic communication system. Earth not only had all parts of the cosmic communication system designed and built into it, they were also fully operational and in use. In use means receiving messages individually and in group communicating with other planets, stars, celestial objects, peoples and kingdoms, as well as traveling to and from them. That might sound futuristic to you now, but it was as normal as it is today if you take a car, a train or a plane. The good news is there are remains of the cosmic communication system on Earth, And the even better news is that we are getting these remains operational again. There are five main stations, as they are called, 27 auxiliary stations and more than a thousand nature stations. The five main stations are the centerpiece. One is located on each continent. In Europe, in the Americas, in Africa, in Asia, and in the Austral New Zealand Pacific region. The first of the five main stations has been reopened to receive personal messages on May 23rd, 2021. This main station is located in Europe more specifically in the octagon of Aachen Cathedral in Aachen, Germany. How this opening was achieved is described in Volume 2 of the Chronicles of Sanat Kumara, 
God's Station in Arkham Cathedral. The story will be available on Amazon Worldwide on the full moon of Sunday, October 9th, 2022 as an e-book and a week later as a paperback. The e-book contains color illustrations, the paperback black and white. Now, the first of the five main stations in the octagon of Arkham Cathedral is the most important one for the time being. It forms the center from which unity on Earth and with all other planets will spread again. It once was the birthplace of a united Europe and it is now the center of unity on and for Earth. When time is right, the Arkan Station will be used for master teachers to appear in the dense physical of Earth. It will be used to travel to other planets and it will be used for group communication between a representative body of all who call Earth home towards other representative bodies like those on other planets, stars, Shambhalas and more. You see, this is a long-term future-shaping place. The other four main stations will be opened and made known to you in due course, as are the 27 auxiliary stations. The auxiliary stations function as pathways for humans on Earth to reach the other cosmic communication destinations on Earth, that is to say the five main stations and the other 26 auxiliary stations. You will hear and read more about that when the time is right. But what I can tell you today is that already four nature stations are fully operational and six more will be by the end of this year. The four fully operational are located in the United Kingdom, Germany, the United States and in Thailand. Added to this until the end of 2022 will be six more. One each in Russia, Zimbabwe, Congo, India as well as on the island of Martinique in the Caribbean and the Paracel Islands in the South China Sea. Nature stations serve communication and the coming and going of nature beings, such as devas, angels, elves, fairies, dragons, unicorns, as well as our of earth allies, peoples from other planets. Their purpose is to help the human family to reawaken to the oneness of existence and provide guidance in restoring planet Earth to a natural condition that allows for it to become the place that it is supposed to be. I'll let you digest this until next week when I provide you with more details. Until then, I ask you to spread this message as far and wide as your possibilities allow for. Don't ponder if you should. Just do. Be a leader of the new earth. I love you all beyond what you can comprehend. And I bless you all. This is the Sanat Kumara. <laughs>